All right, I now want to give you a review of kind of an older gaming product. In fact, one so old you can't even buy anymore. So why would I do a review of a product you can't even buy anywhere? Well, well, because I want to. And plus, this will show you how geeky I am. And I mean not just a little geeky, but I'm pathetically geeky. All right, so what is this product? Well, here it is. The Kilowatt Sport or Pro controller. Designed by what used to be Power Grid Fitness. Now it's called Interaction Laboratories. Now what this is designed to do is give you a workout while playing games. Now it doesn't actually move, but the idea behind it is you're using force to get your character to move in a certain direction, or look in a certain direction. You basically, you move the bar left to go left, right to go right, back to go back, forward to go forward. If you're driving a plane, obviously back will point your nose up. You go forward, you point your nose down. Now here are the systems it's compatible with. Like I said, it's an old product, so it's only for the last generation of systems. You got one for the Xbox, PlayStation 2, the GameCube, and the PC. However, you're not fully ruled out on some of the newer systems because if you think about it, if this is a GameCube port, you can still use it on the Wii. However, only games that you can play with a GameCube controller on the Wii. Also, then again, it works for the PC. So it's still perfectly good for any PC games. And it actually, I found that it interfaces quite well with the PC. It detects the joystick, it detects all the buttons on it. And for any game that you can replace a function to be a joystick item or a keyboard item will work perfectly well. However, if there's any game that's designed to use the mouse and only the mouse and can't let you switch what function it is, it's not going to work so well on that, those type of games. Now here's the gamepad right here and if you were to look carefully, if you were to get your hands on one of these, you'll notice it actually covers every button uh, for the consoles that it's compatible with. It also has a level of resistance up or down here. Now that's not going to make it harder to push the pull or back, however it's going to mean you're going to have to exert more force to get your character or whatever to move within the game. If you were to boost it all the way to the max, it is incredibly difficult and grueling to get your character to move anywhere. You move it down to the bottom level of one and you can do it at just a little flip of the, just a slight touch of the, the joystick. Now it doesn't replace a visit to the gym, however, if you're going to play the games anyways, why not? Because it it's going to give you a workout, or a little bit, while you're playing the game. Now they say this will actually work with any game on the supported systems, which is technically true. However, I found that it's a bit difficult to use on first person shooters. Mainly, I played it with Halo. I found Master Chief just kind of moving up and down, incredibly hard to get used to. Uh, and I tried to use either access, couldn't do it successfully, and try to play the game like a normal person. However, racing games such as Burnout Revenge or another uh, vehicle game such as Crimson Skies worked exceptionally well. And I found that it actually helped me get more into the game, which was a lot of fun too. It actually came a bit more naturally than using a typical gamepad because of the fact your whole body wants to move back and forward with the controller. So the movement of the plane just seems to be so much more natural when you're flying it. Now on most controllers you'll notice that there's actually two axes, whereas this one seems to be missing one. That's because the entire unit as a whole is actually going to act as one of the axes on the control. And the other nice thing is you have a choice of which one of these axes you want the whole unit to take over for. Based on these switches right here, you have a choice of the left, right, or a combination of both, whether you want only the vertical or the horizontal to take place in the whole unit itself, which is very nice, very customizable for any game. Also on the downside, you'll notice it takes up quite a bit of the room. Plus, my friends really never understood the point too much. And I have to admit, it never went off that well when I'd ask the guys in the office if they wanted to come over and play with my big joystick. On February 26 of 2007, a representative from IA Labs sent me an email that states that this product is now going to be taken off the line. However, they did say in development is the Exerstation 360. Problem is, it's been over a year now and I see no mention of it on any of their websites. Also, they do can make one new product called just the Exerstation, which is compatible with the same systems as this. However, I've looked all the way on IALabs.com and their partner website, thexrgames.com. I see no mention of where you can buy it or pick it up. 
but they seem to be keen on marketing it. So if you actually want something like this, visit one of their websites, send them an email and say, what's up? Because honestly, I'd like to actually see a newer version of this, because I play the 360 more than I ever did play the Xbox and having quite fun, and I would actually love to have a product like this that would work for it. For more gaming reviews, be sure to visit us at thegaminginsiders.com.